Hi everyone, welcome back. So I've got nothing on my lips today because I'm gonna do a try on of all of my House of Colour lip products. And this was a requested video. I did put up something similar to this a couple of months ago, but my collection has kind of expanded a little bit more since then. So I thought it would be a good idea to do an updated one. So thank you very much for the suggestion, great idea. If you've seen any of my other videos or any of my House of Colour videos, you will know a bit of the backstory about my House of Colour process. But if you are new, I will just kind of give you a little bit of some information. I had a House of Colour colour analysis appointment back in December. I am an autumn. I'm an autumn leaf to be precise, which is basically like a true autumn in other systems. So I look best in those really stereotypical autumn colours that you think of when you think of autumn. So like your mustard yellow, moss green, amber, um, a really nice warm red. And there are three other autumn sub-seasons within the House of Colour system. So you have your autumn leaf, which is me, blue autumn, your soft autumn and vibrant autumn. And during your appointment, once you have determined what your season is, your consultant will put some makeup on you and it is their 90 second makeup, which basically means that in the morning or whenever you're putting some makeup on to get yourself ready, you only really need, only really need 90 seconds to put on a full face of makeup. So in the appointment, they put on a bit of foundation, they put on a mascara either in a brown or a black. For me as an autumn, brown mascara is recommended and then they run you through some lipstick options and there is something called three points of red as part of the house of color process and there are three points of red for each of your four seasons so you get a color fan in your appointment and it contains 36 colors within your color palette and you can wear all of those colors together Bar the three points of red, if you wear your three points of red together, you might get a little bit of clashing going on. So they recommend that when you wear one of your three points of red as a top or as a dress, something close to your face, you wear the same point of red as a lip colour. So for autumns, we have warm red, coral and rust as our three points of red. So for House of Colour, they say that your three points of red are basically all you need in your makeup collection for your lip options. They cover all of your bases. So after my appointment, I actually bought one of each of the three points of red. I bought a warm red, I bought a coral and I bought a rust. And I have bought quite a few more lip items since then. They're all behind me on my dressing table here. I'm just going to count how many I've got. So I have nine lipsticks five lip glosses, two liquid lips and three lip liners. So I have quite a large collection of House of Colour lip options to go through in this video today. So let's run through the lip liners first and I will then put the products on in terms of their kind of category. So I'll do the warm reds, I'll do the, the rusts and I'll do the corals together. So lip liners first of all. So with House of Colour they have a website, they have an online shop so you can go onto the shop online and buy your products, which is what I did for all of mine. I didn't buy any lip products in the appointment. I wanted a little bit of time to think it through, but then I went home and was like, yeah, I definitely need some lip products. So there are three suggested lip liner colors for autumns and I bought all three of them. So first up is maple and this is your nude lip color. So as you can see, it's quite dark possibly and it's very warm and it's this really beautiful sort of warm brown color it's called maple so this is the lip liner that I wear with my nude lipsticks and what I found quite interesting is that the nude colors for autumn are quite a bit darker than I'm used to wearing because I'm obviously really quite pale I'm used to wearing nude lipsticks that are really really light so the nude lipsticks from House of Color have that warmth behind them have that earthiness have that kind of richness behind them so maple will be the lip liner that I will wear with my nude lipsticks, but this also looks really nice all over the lips as well. The next lip liner is russet, and this will be your lip liner to go with your rust colors. So you can see it's kind of like this burnt red terracotta type of shade. It's got some brown in there as well. So that will be your rust lip liner. And then the third one is deep coral. Now I actually don't wear this with my coral lipsticks because this is too vibrant for my coral lipsticks. And this one on the hand 
looks like a warm red so I think the name of that lip liner is a little bit misleading because I wear this lip liner with my warm reds and I think that's probably how it's intended but the fact that it's called deep coral I assume that I would wear it with my coral lip liners but I don't so I don't actually have any lip liners to go with my coral lipsticks but anyway those are the three lip liners for autumn right let's start with the nude options so Although there are your three points of red that are suggested that you get one lipstick in each of the three points of red, I very much like wearing on a day-to-day -day basis a nude type of lipstick. So the nude lipsticks were one of the first things that, that I got from House of Colour, but I am going to start with the liquid lip. There are three liquid lips from House of Colour. The first one that I'm going to show you, I've only got two of them though, I don't have the third one. The first one that I'm going to show you is the nude option. This is 110, nearly nude. And it's a very thin, lightweight liquid lip. Now, liquid lips can be quite drying. And to be totally honest with you, this isn't the most comfortable lip option that I have, but I don't find this as drying as other liquid lips that I have tried. So I will pop this on for you and show you what it looks like. So that is just one coat. It will dry down a bit. Now I did say this is a really nice thin lightweight formula but it doesn't apply streaky at all. It applies really fluid and it's really quite an easy product to apply and I just love that it's just a little bit of colour in my season but it's very natural. So this is a really good option if you're a soft autumn or if you are kind of getting a little bit used to wearing your brighter bolder colours within your autumn suggestions and you just want a day of wearing something a little bit lighter something a little bit more comfortable perhaps this one I like to wear for barely their makeup look or maybe if I'm you know going into the office and I want something on my lips but nothing too too dark I would go for something like this now this is drying. I think this is pretty much dry now. To make it that little bit more comfortable, I would put a bit of lip gloss over the top. Either one of the House of Colour ones or like a clear lipstick, a clear lip gloss over the top or a lipstick as well. So you can wear it as it is or you can layer it with other products. But this is option number one. I really, really like this one. I think this one is such a beautiful colour. And as autumns, we only have two pinks in our colour palette we have coral and we have rosewood and this is actually a really good rosewood match so really like this one okay let's do the nude lipsticks I have three nude lipsticks and let's stick with pink this is my pink lipstick this is the shade autumn shimmer L491 and this again is another sort of good match for rosewood Just really easy to apply lipsticks. They're really comfortable as well. They're really creamy, got really good pigmentation and colour and they last a pretty good amount of time as well. So I think the quality of these are pretty good. So this is Autumn Shimmer. I could layer it over the top of that liquid lipstick and it's just a really beautiful warm pink. Again, a great everyday nude colour and just a really beautiful colour if I want to go a little bit more pinky with my makeup but obviously still keep it quite warm. Right and then I've got two brown nude lipsticks and these two were I think two of the first lip products that I got from House of Colour. I got my three points of red and then I think I bought these two because I wanted some nude options. So these are Soft Amber and Autumn Nude. Starting with Autumn Nude I think this is my favourite lipstick from House of Colour because it's a beautiful obviously nude colour but it's a really lovely brown pink very warm it's got that earthiness behind it. it's got that richness behind it but it's nothing too bright too bold and too vibrant it's where's my lips gone it's a beautiful everyday lipstick it's one that I don't need a mirror to apply as well so from out and about I can kind of whack it on and I just think it's a very flattering lipstick it goes with a lot of different makeup looks and it's a great everyday option so this is definitely my favourite lipstick and I think this is the one that I've gotten through most of out of my collection. I didn't put it on actually but the Maple lip liner would go really well with that lipstick. 
And then this one is Soft Amber, which is still a nude, but this one is much more of an orange brown nude, so it's very warm. This one, <laughs> this is where, this is gonna sound really weird. This one is very much an autumn color for me. I would wear it in the autumn months, but obviously what with it being an autumn seasonal lipstick, I can wear it year round, but I think I would probably wear this one more in the autumn because in the autumn I like to go that bit more orange that bit more brown and warm with my makeup look so a bit more of a bolder neutral lip perhaps but again a great option really love this one as well okay let's do the three points of red now then i'm going to start off with my least favorite three point red which is coral now out of the four different sub seasons of autumn I suit the vibrant autumn colours the least so I think that's why I don't feel as comfortable in coral. The only time I really wear coral is if I wear coral on my top. I don't tend to wear coral with other colours within my wardrobe. But because we are in summer now I'm hoping to wear coral that bit more regularly because obviously it feels like a very sort of summer colour. Now I have two options for coral. The first one that I bought is soft smooth coral and out of the two that I tried on in my appointment this was the least vibrant. So that was just one coat of the lipstick. Now you can tell that I don't wear this one that often because I am a bit like oh that is kind of bright but when I do pair it with a coral top it looks a lot better. It does kind of work really well pairing it with some coral clothes. Now if you find your colours a bit intense, what you can do is put on a clear lip gloss and then put some of the lipstick on over the top and you obviously get like a coloured lip gloss effect. Or you can take your, your finger and then just kind of like lightly dab it on like a lip stain. But I have just gone in straight with the bullet, so that is why that looks a lot more intense. So if you want a shock tea system, if you really want to get used to your colours that bit quicker, go straight in with the bullet. So that is the coral option, that is soft smooth coral. And then this one is my newest lipstick. This was a colour that got discontinued but they bought it back. This is 410 Copper and it's a bit of a sort of rust coral hybrid but I've kind of put it in with my corals because I do have a few rusts to show you. And I am liking this more the second time obviously what with it being quite corally it is bright and i'm not used to wearing bright lipsticks like this so this one isn't one of my favorites but obviously if i was again to wear something coral as a top it might look a bit better and i've also paired this with the deep coral lip liner so where this is a darker coral this works really well with the lip liner but if i was to wear the lip liner with the previous coral lipstick this would be too dark for it but anyway this is copper and that's it for my coral lipstick. So I'm going to go through my warm reds. I only have one, which is L12 Brick. It looks quite bright, but this is a beautiful lipstick. I love this one for sort of like Christmas time. I love wearing a red lip at Christmas. So this is 12 Brick, and this is one of their most popular warm reds for autumns. And I love this colour. Although this is bright and bold, I feel quite comfortable in it. I'm much more comfortable in the warm reds than I am the corals. And I've also paired this one with that deep coral lip liner as well, and that one's worked really well. So this is my only warm red option, but I don't feel like I need any more warm reds than this one because it's not a color that I wear that often, but I do really enjoy wearing it when I do wear it. Right, on to rusts, the third three point of red. I have three lipsticks to talk through. This is the first one. This is the one that I wore for the rest of my colour analysis appointment when she draped me in my vowel colours. And this is five rust, and rust as an autumn leaf is a 100% vowel colour for me. So this is a lipstick that I feel very, very comfortable in. So although it is a red, because it's not vibrant like that warm red is, and because it's got a bit of brown in it, a bit of earthiness behind it, it's more kind of like toned down. I just feel like it's a much more comfortable red for me to wear. So along with Autumn Nude, I think this one is my favourite lipstick from House of Colour and I just love it. I love Rust. It is my favourite three point of red. And I wore that with the Russet lip liner as well. And because I love Rust so much, I bought Ginger Shimmer. This is 060 and this 
obviously has some shimmer in it it's got gold shimmer in it so it's a bit more of a vibrant rust color but because it still has that rust base although it is a little bit more vibrant it still feels really comfortable to wear and I think this is such a pretty shade I haven't worn it that often and I really should but I think once I move it into the autumn months that's when I will wear my rust a bit more but such a pretty shade I think this is lovely for like a date night lipstick or an evening out because it because of the shimmer it just looks that little bit more bit more dressed up and then I wanted a lip option to wear with orange clothing so this one I think still comes under the rust category but this is 308 true terracotta so you can see that it is quite a vibrant orange but it's got a bit of like yellow gold shimmer going on in it a very very warm color and this is a great option for when I wear orange tops I really like pairing those two together and because this does very much feel like a summer shade despite it potentially still being a rust I think this is one that I can hopefully wear that bit more often now that we are in summer it's such a beautiful bright bold color but not as intimidating as say the corals oh my poor lips and then the last rust option before I get into the lip glosses is a colour that I haven't tried yet. This is the, one of their liquid lip options. There are three suggested colours for autumn. The third one is Melon Punch, I think, but that's a vibrant red, and I don't feel like I need that one. But this one, which I can't recall what it is, but anyway, it's the rust colour. This one just, just called to me. So this is actually gonna be the first time that I'm gonna try it. So let's see what this one's like yeah that one's beautiful that one's a bit of me beautiful burnt orange red i love that i think that's a gorgeous color that will be great for summer but also for autumn as well but obviously it can be a year-round shade because it's a, an autumn shade that's really lovely very much enjoy that color so yeah that's a great rust option if you want a long lasting lip color so I'm going to finish on lip glosses because I feel like my lips very much need something hydrating after putting on all those colours and then wiping them all off. So for autumns there are five coloured lip glosses that are suggested for us. You can also get a couple of the clear options but I didn't buy any of the clear options because I already have a clear Kiko lip gloss. And I have all five of the coloured lip glosses. I did originally buy four of them. I didn't buy copper because the pictures I saw of copper on, I I just didn't particularly like. I didn't really think that it would be a nice option. But then, because I'm a little bit weird and I like to kind of collect things, I suppose, I wanted the full set. So I did buy copper and I'm very glad that I have because it is a beautiful colour. I think I'm going to go for darkest down to lightest. Oh, that liquid lip colour, by the way, I've just had a look on my phone because I've made a note of all the lip colours that I've bought, is Tuscan Sun. So I am going to start with the Rust colour for the lip gloss. This is number 55, which is Rich Rust. And this lip gloss, I think, must be the old packaging because it's in a, um, like a square um, sort of tube. And because of that as well, it's got just a brush applicator, which I... I'm not that keen on because I do find it a little bit messy. The others all have doe foot applicators. But anyway, let's pop this on. So yeah, a little bit of a messier application because of the because of the brush. And I've got a couple of hairs that are like pointing out the, the wrong the wrong way. But this colour is beautiful. So this is lovely if you like something really shimmery on your lips if you like that gloss effect and also you can layer this with one of the rust lipsticks with a rust lip liner as well and these lip glosses are brilliant because quite often in the past I have bought like colourful lip glosses expecting them to be on the lips the colour they are in the tube and they're not they're just a hint of colour these are so pigmented so this colour you get in the tube I've got it on my lips and it's it's perfect I love it and these are great for me personally for the summer when I want something a little bit more kind of more youthful more playful and I find lip glosses are like that so this is the rust option this is 86 paprika so this is the warm red option 
and this one comes with a doe foot so this was so much easier to apply and this one I just think is a really sort of like nice gentle easing into wearing warm reds if you're not used to wearing red lip colours and again I just think it's a really really pretty colour and also you can wear this on top of the red lipstick as well to add a little bit more hydration perhaps and add that kind of shine effect to your lip look. And this is copper. This is the one that I wasn't too sure about getting, but I think it's such a cool, unique colour. Like it's a beautiful, warm, orangey brown, obviously copper shade, bit of like a gold shimmer in there. And I think this would be really nice over the top of the soft amber lipstick to add again a little bit more shimmer to it because this one is obviously very orange and I think those two would work really well together. But again, the colour that's in the tube is the colour that's on my lips. The pigment in these lip glosses are brilliant. I, hi I highly recommend all of the lip products from Hassel Colour. I think they're all brilliant. But the lip glosses are just excellent. I've never found pigmentation like it in, in lip glosses. Brilliant. So yeah, this is 54 copper. And this is 72 coral. So with the lip glosses, you also have your three points of red. So 72 coral is your coral three point of red. The Rich Rust is your rust option and the Paprika is your warm red option as well. So if you really love lip glosses, you can still get your three points of red in lip gloss form. And this one is a much more comfortable coral on me. It's not as vibrant, not as intense as that bullet lipstick is. So this one is a coral I feel a lot more comfortable in. But I do still like to wear the two together. I like to add a bit of the coral lipstick to this just to add that, that bit more intensity and pigment into it but this is such a beautiful beautiful lip gloss and again this is a great one for summer so this is 72 coral and the last lip color in today's video is number 66 apricot this is the lightest of the lip glosses and I think for that reason this is probably the one that I kind of reach for the most out of my lip glosses because it's probably the easier one to kind of whack on but then we are in sort of like spring summer at the moment so this is obviously a very like spring summer colour but for you soft autumns this is a beautiful year round colour. So just a little bit of pigment in here something very like light coral type of colour so a bit more toned down than the previous lip option but obviously still has that warmth in it and what I love about all of the lipsticks, lip liners, glosses from House of Colour is that you can mix and match all of them. So I've worn this one over the top of like the maple lip liner, you can wear some of the lip glosses over the different lipsticks, so you can kind of come up with like different cocktails of lip colours. So if you do have a few options from House of Colour within your collection I'd recommend you try and mix and matching them all together and seeing what different combinations you can come up with, but of course you can wear them as standalone products as well. So those were all of my House of Colour lip products and that's all of my House of Colour makeup actually. I don't have any other makeup from House of Colour, although I will probably at some point, probably towards the end of the year I think, buy the four House of Colour blush options because that's the great thing with this makeup. If you know your season, you can buy something from them in your season and you know that it's gonna work for you. But because I do love lipstick and I love having quite a few different options of like lipsticks, lip liners, lip glosses to choose from. That's why the only purchases I've made have been lip products. It's always been my favourite piece of makeup and I've, I always like having a good selection, a good variety of different colours to choose from and I have that so I'm really happy with how my lip selection is looking because where most of it is from Hassle Colour I know that it is going to suit me and I've just got so many different colours that I can choose from and play about with. So. Hope you have found this interesting or useful. If you're an autumn, please let me know your favourite shades down below. Or, or if you're another season, let me know what colours you like as well. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon for my next one. Bye.